and then um, um, Christina already mentioned the, uh, the data collection or disease registries, and this is really um, very important and something um, I think we all have to work together, um, doctors uh, from all over the world and, uh, and families, patients. So um, ultra rare diseases are really rare. Uh, you have seen it because uh, probably a lot of the doctors uh, you are dealing with uh, have never heard about for, for age leukodystrophy. Atypical forms of rare diseases are even rarer and information about the natural history as we call it, or the normal disease course is essential for counseling of parents and families, so what to expect, um, evaluating effects of future treatments. Um, usually you treat, uh, if you test a treatment, you use a placebo group, but um, um, with those rare diseases, um, the patient numbers are so small that you often don't manage a placebo group and sometimes you don't want uh, to have a placebo group because the diseases are so severe. So what, uh, what we uh, often use uh, for those trials is what we call a historical control group. So information from patients before and compare that to treated um, patients. This means that the data we collect have to be very good. Um, and uh, you have to think very carefully of what, what you collect. Um, understanding basic disease mechanisms, uh, the late deterioration, um, which is common to many hypomyelinating disorders, not only for H. leukodystrophy, but also, for example, Pelletius Nansbacher disease. And um, collecting data also um, helps to understand this kind of uh, disease mechanisms how to gather this information, disease registries. It's almost not possible otherwise. Um, and in the future, uh, when we do have um, treatment options, registries are also important to quickly identify possible clinical trial candidates. So if I, uh, I want to know um, where are um, patients with uh, mutations in collar one c who are still able to walk without support, for example. Um, uh, I need a register who gives me exactly that uh, information. And uh, that makes it uh, not um, easy, um, a registry, um, because you have to think very carefully of um, how to build registries, uh, how, to, um, how to collect information, with what system, but what information to collect. Um, is, is uh, um, at least as important. And we just did that for another leukodystrophy, which is a bit more frequent than for age, um, metachromatic leukodystrophy. Some of you probably have heard about it uh, um, already. Um, and we, we actually um, decided on what information to collect with the um, Delphi procedure that's kind of a... Um, 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 of, of uh, yeah, you, you collect information uh, through questions, uh, through a survey um, um, with the international group of experts uh, who have all experience with MLD and um, also a cooperation with industry and regulatory bodies as uh, the European Medical Agency or the Dutch um, um, Disease Institute. So this is uh, actually very important uh, um, for a registry and uh, I think that's also um, uh, understandable. Um, you want uh, to build a registry uh, for the uh, um, uh, following the FAIR principles, and this is findable. Um, so you can find the information you need, accessible for not only me or uh, Dr. Bernard, but also other doctors and families um, and patients um, and patient associations, interoperable. So. You can actually, um, if you want to merge reg two registries, um, it's uh, easy to do and reusable. Uh, you should uh, be able to reuse the data uh, for another trial or another project, not only for one specific question. Patients, uh, so, so the, there are different stakeholders for registries um, and uh, patients, of course, want to, be, want to get better um, and uh, we also want to make patients better and provide good care. Um, so um, um, also um, your questions about the vaccinations, for example, is, is important. Uh, um, 
as um, deterioration with, with infections and fever has been uh, um, described uh, um, in 4-H local dystrophy. For researchers uh, who want to understand the disease, you need to ask other things. Pharma industry would like to bring a treatment to the market. Uh, they often have also financial gains uh, um, um, in mind uh, when working with disease registries. And um, um, for some of the rare disorders, um, there are even several registries um, separate um, set up by um, different pharmaceutical companies. Um, so for the one medication A, there is one registry, a medication B, another. You don't collect the same data, so you can't compare treatments. And that's uh, actually quite a setback if you would like to compare um, um, treatments. And governments um, would like to have safe, efficient, but also affordable treatments. And for all this, you need a good registries. So setting up a good one and also have a, 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 the collaboration um, of, of you, the families, is essential.